still going strong. Patrick um, forgot where he put the measuring stick. I'm Yele. And I'm Patrick. Together we are JP Adventures 19. I am working in my outdoor office right here <laughs> and Patrick just came out of the box. You're beautiful Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> you got Good gray job. hair. Oh, <laughs> well, because of you. Oh, thank you. Now everything is primed except our floor because there were little particles flying around and we were walking on the floor. So now we cleaned the floor with some turps and rust converter and Patrick will prime the floor. Look at his gray hair. <laughs> Let's have a look. my office time is over I have to get going Patrick's preparing the paint so we Patrick. got ourselves some golden yellow paint <laughs> because we absolutely love this color and we want the inside of our box to be golden yellow <laughs> I'm just kidding why isn't it pink uh, <laughs> we actually got it because it was on clearance for 12.50 which is about one eighth of the actual price of this color so we decided yeah. golden yellow it's gonna be <laughs> no one's ever gonna see it except you guys on camera <laughs> so everyone's gonna see it <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Yele is suited up and ready to go. Ooh. She volunteered for this. <laughs> ready to go. And the paint job begins. It is dark outside and Yele is still going strong. What a tough girlfriend I have. She's doing a great job. Check this out. So much fun! Woo got a Everything hurts! Golden yellow inside now. <laughs> How do you like the color? Uh, it looks like DHL post. <laughs> DHL post now. <laughs> so we're gonna be delivering your mail soon. Uh, I'm yellow everywhere and completely dead, so Patrick took over. Good boy. We're now getting the box out of the shed and we're using two pallet jacks for this, one on each end. This little kid. <laughs> Okay. 
Wow, this box hasn't been outside for a while, Patrick. Since grinding. Since grinding, yeah, it's been a while. Well, nothing changed inside, still black and yellow. So I'm just sanding all the spots where uh, we welded it from the inside because it leaves like a little flaky residue on top um, which we're gonna get we're gonna get rid of because if you do scratch this and there's paint on top of it the paint will be gone so yeah just sandpaper and good old-fashioned elbow grease and I'm gonna start rust converting the seams so we can uh, clean them and put putty on top we're, we have this rust converter now and Let's see if that works better than the other one. The first seam is prepared pretty clean and no more rust. And now we actually decided to take off the plastic sheets because they're a bit disgusting and the paint is sticking to them and so they're falling apart pretty much. So we'll just take them off quickly. Patrick's so busy getting the rest of the paint and glue off. Looks like fun. <laughs> And I'll do the last team with Rust Converter. And since I have to work in a puddle, I got the gum boots out. <laughs> and keep cleaning <laughs> and Rust Converting. There are a lot of seams on this huge box. But I have to say, this rust converter works so much better than the old one. So now we're using R10. That works pretty good. It's from Prime, of course. Patrick, your favorite store, right? Number one store in Bunbury. <laughs> we always have to go there if we're on time. Jump. Jump! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> right! After rust converting the seams, Patrick's using sandpaper. 120 grit. And it's just sanding it lightly and then I'll wipe it down with turps. You just want to get it a bit roughed up to put the putty on, so it actually has something to grab onto, and turps it to degrease it. Like ice cream. <laughs> to try and eat it. Mm, maybe not. And so it actually gets hard. You need some of this the hardener and just mix it in. Here we go. So why are we doing this? Um, first of all, we want to seal the seam. It should be sealed already 
by like um, welding them together but this is just an extra protective layer and also we want to um, have a flat surface so even if one sheet is further out than the other we can even it out with some putty and so we'll put a lot on there and then just sand it down afterwards when it's dry and we're hoping it's gonna look pretty <laughs> what are you waiting for, Patrick? Um, the putty to harden. Harden <laughs> a bit quick on me, so I have to let it harden on the spatch on the scrapers, and then I can just break it off and then put a new one on. Start new. So we've done this side, <clears throat> a part of here, the front. And nothing on this side and we ran out of putty and since the next bunning is 45 minutes away we'll We only had half a tin though, have yeah. to admit that We'll have to wait until tomorrow We changed our plans and we're now working on the tray again it has been a while um, Because as you know, we took out all the ply that was rotten. So we have to fill this two centimeter gap and we decided to use steel for it. And now we'll cut it to the right length and then weld it in. Let's see if they fit, if they're the right length. We I always measure correctly. I have to climb over the fence. Woo. Here we go, here's the tray. So. Didn't take too long. Almost. <laughs> We are grinding down the edges so they fit better into the tray. Here we go. They all fit in there. We're on a hunt. Patrick um, forgot where he put the measuring stick, if you call it that way. It's not a measuring tape, it's actually a stick. And we have no idea where it is. It's like the, the meme that goes... Yeah, but he can't find it. Patrick, where did you put it? I don't know. Where could it be? Well, we found it, Patrick. Got it! <laughs> boom, boom. All right, so we have shifted focus again and are now working on our brush bar mounts, um, which are going to be pretty small. And yeah, I'm going to start cutting them.
So last night, Patrick prepared already all of them, all the parts of the brush bar mounts. But he left one because now it's daylight again, so he, we can show you what we actually did. So we just get rid of the sharp edges from cutting, and then the wire wheel or polish with the polisher, the uh, get rid of all the rust, and mark off two holes, and then drill the holes. Let's go. And now we're using this fancy little tool. We believe it's called center punch, hole puncher, whatever. In, in English, you only know the name in German. So. Yeah, <laughs> in German it's a kernel, kernel. <laughs> and we punch the holes where we actually want to drill the holes into. So it makes drilling the hole a lot easier. And now back to one of our favorite machines. <laughs> I could put one in the mug, I'd put one in the mug. Well, we don't have any more space for that, too maybe, bad. Maybe a little one. <laughs> so we put it in the right spot, we use the um, cutting fluid again, so it doesn't get too hot. Safety goggles! <laughs> planning on putting M12 bolts in, so the hole is 12.5. Now Patrick, what are you doing with this massive thing? Just doing a bit of countersinking just to get deeper the edges here from drilling, so they're not sharp. So my very hot assistant. Again? <laughs> mm -hmm. Always. So now we're using those plates and we actually draw a line where we're gonna place the metal tube, metal bar, which is 30 in our case. So that's right here, using our little screw again. And then make it a straight line, just like this. So this is the way we want to put this together. So this is the bottom part and then the plate will go on top. It's 50 mil and the tube is only 40 mil. So we'll put it on one side. And we got the holes right here. And then just to show you the brush bars, this is for the top of the box. We'll go and sit on here, obviously way longer. And then we'll drill the holes through and then we can attach it and detach it if we want to. That's the whole point on making those um, little things. <laughs> Mounts. Mounts. Yeah, you now you have to do some welding, I think. Oh yeah. He welded the whole things on properly, the whole mounts. This is what they look like now. It's not too hot, so they will be like this. Also, yesterday um, we tried if the new rust converter works better, as you know, and here are some results. So, this sheet was really like there was surface rust but a lot it was all over the sheet so i did almost the whole sheet except the top as you can see it's really rusty but it worked because the rust is all gone on um on the sheet where i used the rust converter which is very good because <laughs> we have a lot more rusty surfaces to come and now 
Off to Bunbury. Bunnings! Woo! <laughs> Such nice weather, but what would a day be without rain?